That's right. That's right. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I had to consult a doctor, and my my throat was uh, really, really, uh, oh well, uh, completely distorted and completely dis destructed. Um, yeah, that's it. It's it was a flu, and um, yeah, uh, everything was hurting. I couldn't I couldn't even swallow, and everything was too thick. So uh, I had to consult a doctor, and uh, he had to. Uh, really um, 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 give me some heart medicine and um, said you don't have to speak for uh, at least three or four days and yeah then everything went better and better but it was it was hard uh, it's very seldom that you catch a flu but it was I think uh, because of uh, the the, the con air condition in the tour bus and too less sleep and stuff like that so yeah shit happens yeah we had to cancel uh, some gigs that was really really sad but but you know you cannot you cannot change it you know as i said that's that's fate that's that's shit that happens and um yeah hopefully we're gonna come back to to uh, do this these shows unfortunately uh we didn't get the offer yet, so hopefully uh, it's going to be in the future. It is, it is. That's why we chose the Roman letters, you know, the Roman numbers, uh, which are letters also, um, because we, we found it more, I don't know, ancient and more uh, old school. So it, it, it looks uh, more strong to have them in Roman uh, numbers so yeah it's great so we're proud of still existing after such a long time you know it's 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 very seldom that a band survives uh, over such a long period of time so yeah it's great to see and you know we always have been a band of changes a band uh, that dares to to evolve and to change and to develop so it's always dangerous because you dare to lose fans if you change a lot you know and if you if you explore new dimensions within your band musically so we're very proud that there's still a, a certain amount of people who like our music and who like our ability to surprise over and over again i think that's what oomph is about we're a band of surprises We, we did know, of course, that there's many people all over the world in all the different scenes, metal, hardcore, electronic, gothic, whatever. There's many people who are very conservative, you know, who, 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 who uh, avoid changes, who are afraid of changes, who want their band, their favorite band, to always remain the same. I don't know why, because I fucking abhor conserva con conservatism, and I think the the whole universe um, changes all over again. And there, there's no constant thing uh, in universe. Oh, Albert Einstein said there is a constant thing that's as the stupidity of mankind. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, I think um, I think everything changes permanently. So. As we are human beings who want to change, who want to develop, who want to, if you want to say, wise someday, um, we, we want to, of course, evolve. And um, if you want to remain authentic and honest with your music, you have to reflect those changes. Otherwise, you start to lie to yourself or to your fans just to make them happy or whatever. Just if people... If people in a band, if a band starts to think, what could the media, what could the press, what could our fans think about our new album? What what should we do? Uh, how should our uh, album sound like to make them satisfied? Then you sell yourself. You sell the, uh, the, the, the original idea of art, which is completely free and completely random, you know? Yeah, we never tried to uh, deny our roots, even though we wanted to uh, to evolve constantly, always. But there's always roots, and you don't have to deny them. So, 
after that ironical, self-ironical, sarcastical album, uh, this Wahnsinns Fette Beute, it was clear for us that we don't want to repeat ourselves, as we never do. So uh, it was clear for us that it has to sound completely different, the new album. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, um, as we met to, uh, to, uh, to rehearse for the first time after the, the, the tour of this Wahnsinns Fette Beute, uh, we three... Flux, Crab, and me uh, were sure about the fact uh, that we wanted to have it more uh, rocky, more dark, and more um, and sad and deep. So yeah, it was about time to 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 keep it fresh for us, you know. So it's very important to keep the process of songwriting and production fresh for yourself. So it's good to have those those uh, those uh, changes, you know, because as I said, life is full of changes, you know. Uh, Flux and Crab did record the guitars and the bass uh, uh, at our studio, and uh, at the same time, I uh, I recorded the uh, the vocals uh, at a, a studio uh, from a good friend of us, you know, uh, which uh, which is. Uh, Michael Simon, uh, Simon Michael, Simon Michael from Subway to Sally. Yeah, he he, he worked together with us for a certain period of time. So we said, oh, that's great. We, we Flux did uh, um, um, uh, write some songs. Crap did write some songs. I did write some songs. Then we uh, we wrote some songs together as three uh, in jam sessions, and then. We uh, we wrote some songs together with uh, Simon Michael. So yeah, it was a fluent process, you know, uh, with open doors. If you want to uh, talk it like that, mm -hmm. if you want to say it like that. So yeah, it was cool. As I said, you always have to keep it fresh and new for yourself. So from time to time, we take some uh, friends mus who are musicians or producers themselves and uh, say if they have uh, and s see if they have some impact on the album. Which is good for us too. So, and this time it was uh, Simon Michael. Yeah. It deals with a, with the big questions of mankind. You know, uh, where do I come from? What do I do in the middle? And where do I go? So, um, yeah. Uh, and it's it's all about love, passion, pain. And as you know, as the owner of uh, Three Kids, it's about reproduction. So it's, it's yeah. about biological facts also. And so, so it's, life is also about sex, of course. And uh, it's about death. It's about uh, the, the, vi the vision of death and how we get along with, with the fact that we're going to die. And um, yeah, and um, it's, it's about um, how to... Um, how to deal with with uh, with with sadness and with uh, sickness and with uh, diseases, with um, bad things that happen to you, and how to uh, get along with them. You know that's that what life is about. You know, uh, uh, even though our society tries to tell us that we always have to happy have to be happy all the time mm -hmm. um, nowadays, which is sick itself, if you ask me. <laughs> so. A, a society which which tries to be happy all the time seems to be very sick inside. Mm. So uh, yeah, so uh, we're uh, we're if if you want if world tries to tell us that that it's full of protagonists, maybe we are the antagonists. Sure, we're, we're, we're uh, trying to uh, do a longer tour at the beginning of next year, including France, of course, because we, we know that we have a huge fan base in France and it's always great to play there, especially in Paris, of course. Uh, it's, it's always so great to play, play in this beautiful uh, city. So, yeah, of course, we want to come back. I really would like to play at the what's the uh, the fucking great uh, um, uh, festival? It's it's hell 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 fest. <laughs> That's great. I want to play there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Merci bye bye. Beaucoup. Bye bye, Dero. Au revoir. Oh. Bye bye.